It took about eight fire departments some four hours to control the unwieldy blaze. Fire officials say it was contained to the central portion of the three-wing structure and apparently started in the walls on the third floor. My people were uh, setting lines up and starting to attack the fire on the third floor. And it was a process of starting through the uh, tower and also starting through the roof. A number of students were in the building rehearsing for a play. All reportedly escaped unharmed. Freshman David Lakey was one of the first to notice the fire. All the smoke was a very strange color and it tasted funny and it smelled kind of strange. We still didn't see anything. So we ran to all, all those different levels of the building, knocking on doors to make sure people would come get out. The 1870s structure housed faculty and administrative offices, classrooms, and the college computer center. Because of a backup system installed last spring, school officials believe they haven't lost more than a week's worth of records. The records that were being carried out were the ones that were in the two wings, and they were teams of personnel and students. So that at most, there's a one week loss of records, and we're not certain what records were carried out. There may not even be that. This is the third fire at Franklin College in less than a year and the second in less than a month. But President William Martin proclaimed the college is a phoenix and will rise from the ashes. In Franklin, Marilyn Lease, Channel 6 News. Despite the third fire in five months, spirit at Franklin College is running high. We're collecting money today for the teachers who uh, lost personal and educational items in the fire. Okay. Thank you. Sunday night's blaze heavily damaged Dot Hall. Two adjoining buildings, the oldest on campus, saw smoke and water damage to a computer center, faculty offices, and classrooms. Student David Lakey was in the building when the fire broke out. I came out to get some properties out of another room that we kept some stuff in and I saw some orange smoke coming out of the cracks in the ceiling. Lakey and other students safely evacuated others in the building before more than a half a dozen fire departments brought the blaze under control. There were no major injuries. Today, the state fire marshal and a band of investigators began sifting through the rubble to determine the cause of the blaze. Right now, we're investigating the fire as an accidental fire. Goodwin believes the fire was of electrical origin, possibly faulty wiring in the walls or the third floor of the building. Classes were canceled today while college administrators searched for temporary classroom space. Students, meanwhile, read of the fire in the campus news. Others expressed a sense of fear in the wake of three fires. Yeah, worried, worried to see what happens. I'm wondering what's going to happen with the school this year because it's just falling apart and everything. I think it's stupid. I'm, I'm not afraid. I live in the dorm. Fear was one target of college president William Martin at a noontime rally. There is not going to be any reasonable basis for fear. Martin said his 705 students had learned some important lessons from the series of fires, lessons not taught in the classrooms, lessons of how cruel nature and reality really are. He then issued a challenge. This college is like the Phoenix. We will rise from the ashes, and we will be more resplendent than we have ever been in our 151-year history. College officials believe records such as transcripts and grades can be salvaged. The financial impact of this and the other fire, says college president William Martin, will be minimal since all buildings are fully insured. Classes resume at Franklin College tomorrow morning. Ben Morriston, Channel 6 News, Franklin.